let's see Curator in action dealing with offenses. This is what a true modern SIEM can do. So here in the offenses tab we see all these offenses. Let's take the first one. Double click on it and we see that uh, this is a high magnitude event. That's what it was straight as an offense. Is the consolidation of almost 20,000 logs events and 355 flows. And well look the sequence of main things. One is a aggressive remote scanner. That's not something that is going to get you out of bed necessarily because that that's what hackers try to do all the time. But then we see evidence of a, of a malware exploitation going on. And we also see that this is from the uh, asset database that we have IPs that are vulnerable to this type of attack. Well, this is not good. It's all coming from one IP address in China. And uh, we'll actually which if you hover out in case that you cannot read the flag that you know that's China and um, uh, attacked uh, 315 local addresses in two of our networks let's scroll down and see some more information so first of all in here we see the top five destinations uh, well if we need to take remediation actions if we think that some this uh, some of these boxes needs to be re-imaged or taken out of the network we can actually do that so hovering on it, we see that right now Team Needland has that, but at the moment of the attack, it was uh, on the right here. We see that Mobel Centoro was the actual was actually using that IP address. So obviously, we have the ACP here. So if we right click on it and go to the asset profile to that one of those top addresses, we see the characteristics of the device. It's 200 uh, Windows 2008 with Service Pack One. And this is where the stuff gets interesting. We have the vulnerabilities and the port associated with it. So look at all these vulnerabilities of port 445, which is, you know, the one used by Configure. This is the Samba uh, type of uh, exploitation. This is, not, this is not good. Let's keep scrolling down and we see the log sources came from two places. One is our network anomaly detection. And the other one is an IPS. Uh, so scroll down. We see buffer overflow exploits, a miscellaneous exploitation, miscellaneous recon. Wow, look at that. And we see here the top 10 events. And in any one of these, we can actually click on the actual event. And we can actually get the data. We can select the time frame that we want to actually look this upon or uh, we can actually look at all the data let's say here by event name so we click by event name and we see here the the type of attacks well look at all these things uh, this is probably the, the net bios is the the, the attacks on port 445 so and um, we can actually click on one of the actual events and see the all the details of it and look at that uh, this is the IPS detecting uh, stack overflow attempt. Look at that, and also attempted uh, privilege escalation. This is not definitely good. That's the malware evidence in here. If we click on this one, for example, we see malware event across multiple targets. So. This is definitely quite evidence that this uh, IP address is trying to do something uh, very pernicious in here. And again, on the flows we can do as before, we can look at the data and we can actually have it uh, look by, let's say here, by application. And we see all those all the data classify in, in, in that particular way here. For example, we see the remote SSH attacks. We can see all those attacks. What is that? Somebody's trying to SSH into our boxes? Oh, certainly they are. And, and we see, well, the good thing is that in here, in the destination packet, uh, we see that there's no traffic coming back. So they've been trying to log in into, into those boxes using SSH, remote SSH, but they have not been able to. So we have enough evidence to tell our uh, firewall to block anything coming from this malicious IP address from China 
right away.